Hello, good day to everyone. I'm, today I'm going to uh, teach about, uh, talk about a lesson 8.1 and that is explore groups of equal shares to show multiplication. So this is how we're going to start our lesson. So we're going to read this, uh, this problem solving over here. Ayesha writes a children's story about quartets of cat musicians. In her story, one fourth of the cats in two quartets play the cello. How many cats in two quartets play the cello? So this lesson uh, focuses on what we call uh, representation. So we're going to represent some parts of this uh, lesson. So I'm going to show you right now how to uh, solve this problem. First, you need to look for the total number. So the total number of items in the problem. And then you're going to use uh, also, uh, the you're going to look for the fraction that is needed to be represented. So first, Let's look for the total. So here in this problem, um, we have two quartets. So we need to know that in a quartet, there are four. So as here, for example, we have four cats. One, two, three, and four. So we have four. So this is what we call a quartet, one quartet. But in the story, in the problem solving, we are going to have two quartets. So two quartets, which means that we have four and four. The total is eight. So the total number of cats in two quartets is eight. Next is that when we're done looking for the total, we're going to look for the fraction that's being used. So um, in the problem, we're going to look for one fourth of the two quartets. So again, we're representing this one fourth of two quartets. Now, so we're going to write here the fraction is one fourth. Now, we're going to represent this. We have the total is equal to eight uh, cats, and then the fraction is a one fourth. Now I need to explain what's the meaning of this one fourth. So first, let's look into the denominator. The denominator shows how many will be in one group. So for example, when uh, when we have four over here. We're going to use circles to represent the cats or items. So for example, we have four. Four is our denominator. It will show us how many will be in uh, per group. So one, two, three, four. That's it. So this is one group already. So the total maximum number in one group. However, remember that because our total number is eight, we need to finish that. So we have only one, two, three three, four, and then again another group, five, six, seven, eight. Now we have um, eight items or eight circles in, um, in two groups that each one is made up of four circles. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And this four is uh, the one is our basis, okay? And now we're going to use also the numerator the numerator uh, um, is showing us how many will we shade in this uh, circles how many will be shade so here if it's one then we're going to shade one in this first group and another one for the second group so we have this first group second group one here and one here so when you add how many will be shaded we have total of two so here, how many cats in two quartets play the shallow, it's equal to two. All right, so we move on to the next problem over here. Now, after their concert, the cat quartet invites their friends to a party. Of the total number of cats shown, one over six or one sixth of the cats have striped tails. How many cats have striped tails? So again, as I told you, you need, we need to look for the total number of items and the fraction. So we, we need to look for the total and the fraction. So how many cats are there? So we need to count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there are 12 cats or the total number of items in this problem. And now we need to look for, again, the fraction. It's 1 over 6. Now we're going to represent that or use. Uh, we're going to draw a a visual model using circles so here again we we'll, uh, we look into the denominator the denominator is six so again we are going to draw six circles three four five six 
we stop on 6 because this is the number of the denominator showing us how many circles will be in one group. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We are basing that on the number of the denominator. So we have now 6. However, our total is 12. So are we done in representing uh, 12? Not yet. So we're going to make another group again with 6 circles. 4, 5, 6. Now we have 12 circles which means that these circles are representing the 12 cats. Now again, we go to the numerator. Numerator is 1. This 1 means we're going to shade 1 only per group. So how many groups do we have? We have 2 groups. Okay, we have 1 and 2. We have 2 groups of 6 and the total is 12. So in each group, we're going to shade 1. So we're going to shade 1 and we're going to shade 1. If, like, for example, the numerator is 2, we're going to shade 2. However, because our numerator here is 1, we're going to shade only 1 per each. So the total number of the shaded circles, circles is 2. So that is our answer. So it means that we represented that there are 2 cats with stripe that have uh, striped tails in the problem. Okay, so this is our representation. We call this the visual model of this problem. All right, now <clears throat> we can go again to a different last, uh, question. So let's solve this problem. Four more cats join the party. Of the cats shown, three fourths have solid colored tails. How many cats have solid colored tails? Now, again, the topic focuses on representing or drawing a visual model. To solve that problem, again, we look for the total number of items or total number of cats. And then we're going to look for the fraction being used or used in the problem. So how many um, cats are there or how, what's the total number of items? So that there, there was 12 and now we're going to add 4 more. So that's 16. So to double check, let's count this uh, picture over here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So our total number of items is 16. So that's our target later on. And now we're going to look for the fraction. Fraction is 3 fourths. 3 over 4, 3 fourths. Now again, let's draw a visual model following the 3 fourths. So the denominator will give us how many circles will be in one group. So we have four, so we are going to draw four circles now. And our target is we need to reach 16. So right now we only have the first group, one, two, three, four. That is not enough, we need to have 16. So we have now one group, that is five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now we have 16 circles. So in each group, we have four circles because that's we're following the number, uh, the value of the denominator. So four, 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 four. How many groups do we have? We have four groups as well. Now, we're going to shade right now. How many cats have solid color tails? So we're going to use this number here, this three, which means that we're going to um, shade three per group. So one two, three. That's for the first group. Second group, one, two, three. One, two, three. So the three means you're going to shade three per group. Okay, one, two, three. Now we're going to count how many circles are um, shaded. So we have now three, six, nine, twelve. So answer is we have twelve. So which means that twelve cats are um, uh, have solid colored tails so we have 12 cats so using this this is what we call the visual model that we have 12 solid um, colored tails for, for for these cats so 12 is the answer now we continue answering this one so at nine o'clock five over eight of the 16 cats at the party go home how many ca uh, cats go home at nine o'clock draw a visual model to find the answer so again our total look for the total how many cats are total? We have 16 cats. Again, 16. The fraction is now 5 over 8. 
Now, how many circles are we going to draw in the first group? We base it on our denominator. So there should be eight um, circles in one group. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, our target is that we should have a total of 16 circles. So this is only eight. So we'll continue counting in a second group, another set of eight uh, circles. Now, if you add eight plus eight, we have now 16. Now, we're done with that. So the denominator shows how many circles are we going to draw in each group. So we have two groups right now. This is the first group and this is the second group. Five is the number that shows us how many are we going to shade. So we, a per group. So we're going to shade this one, two, three, four, five per group. One, two, three, four, five. So we shaded five per group. And now we're going to add that. Um, five plus five, ten. So the answer is that ten cats went home at nine o'clock. We have visually represented it without multiplying, without adding. Just look into the process. Um, here we have another question. Walt has 20 bills, 21 bills. He uses three-fifths of his one dollar bills to pay for a new winter hat. How much does Walt pay for this new winter hat? How do you know? So here again, we're going to look for the, we're going to write the total and we're going to write the fraction. The fraction is or obviously here, three-fifths. So we're looking for three-fifths of this one dollar 20 bills. So we have 20 um, dollars. So 20 is our total. We're going to represent that by drawing circles again. So we have five. Our denominator shows how many are we going to draw per group. So one, two, three, four, five. That's not enough because our target is to uh, reach 20. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember, there should be five per group only. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now we have 20 circles representing the 20 Wanderer bills. Now, we're going to shade. Again, how many are we going to shade? We're going to base it on the numerator. So how are we going to do that? So we're going to, say, to shade 3 per group. 1, 2, 3. Again, 3, which means we're going to shade 3 per group. Another, another, another three, and another three. So this is now the visual model um, on how, how many or how much did Walt pay for his new winter hat. So when we add that, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So he paid twelve dollars for the winter hat. Okay. So um, <clears throat> that's the lesson for for uh, solving these issues. Now we, we continue solving until maybe number five. So use repeated residual set by a carton of by a carton of eggs, find the number of eggs in each fraction of the total. So how many eggs are there? So we need to look for again for the total. So how many eggs are in this tray? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So there are eighteen. Now, uh, this is our total. We're going to look for two-thirds of the eggs. Two-thirds of the eggs, when we draw that, um, we're going to use one, two, three. So remember, the denominator shows until we reach 18. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we have now one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six uh, groups of three. So remember that three, the denominator shows how many circles are we going to draw in a group. Now that two there means we're going to shade that per group. So one, two, one and two, one and two, one and two, one, two, one and two. And how many um, circles did we shade? That is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So which means two thirds of the eggs is equivalent to twelve. Okay, so let's erase this one. Uh, that's our visual model for the first fraction. The second fraction focuses on 5 over 6. Again, 5 over 6, which means 6 circles in a group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
uh, our target is 18 so another set of uh, six circles that's already 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 now we have three groups of six how many are we going to shade we're going to shade five according to our uh, numerator so our one two three four and five one two three four and five and one two three four five if you count five ten fifteen so five over six of the eggs is equivalent to fifteen eggs let's erase this uh, visual model one over nine okay one over nine which means that then we had we need to put nine circles first one two three four five six seven eight nine and our again our target is the total 18 another 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and we're going to circle only one per group 1 and 1 so the answer is when you add this, the shaded circles we have 2 so when you say 1 over 9 of the x the total uh, a number of x is 2 okay and 6 over 9, so because uh, the 9 is already there and we have 9 per group, here I'm just going to circle 6. So we already circled 1 here, 1, 2, I mean shade, um, the, the 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, another, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, you count that, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so 6 over 9 of the eggs is equivalent to 12. So that's how you um, draw visual models for the total and using fractions. So here we do not need to multiply. Uh, we just need to draw circles and then shade them. Finally, here we have 4 and 5, 2 fifths of 15. Our total is 15. Uh, we're going to draw visual models. So 5 groups, so 5 circles in a group, 1, 2, 3, or five we need to reach 15 so that's only already five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen again that's five 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 and now we're going to um shade two two per okay two per group so the answer is we count two four six six five over six of twelve so again we have six denominator we need to draw circles, uh, six circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And our target is we need to have 12 uh, circles. So we need to have two sets or two groups. Now we have six plus six, that's 12. We're going to shade five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five plus five is 10. So that's our lesson. Okay, thank you so much. Goodbye.